lot of uh, a lot of soldiers were uh, were were very um, what's the word bothered um, with what they saw in the in, in the United States Army, the United States Army serving the land of liberty and justice for all. Yet they saw black soldiers being uh, segregated in completely in separate, complete separation. Yeah. And and and, and then uh, the uh, the discrimination and prejudice they themselves then encountered. Uh, it was it was not a good it was not a good experience. But nevertheless, um, what, what I know that uh, Indian soldiers were 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 excellent. Were, were excellent, dedicated soldiers and became they became model so model soldiers. Um, no matter what, no matter what their home life had been with, no matter could have been the, the most serious dropout uh, from school, but when it came to the service, they were absolutely great students. Uh, I I never saw a failure of that. Mm. And, uh, and when. Uh, when I entered the service, I entered the same time as uh, a great uh, a great number of uh, kids came out of South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, and I was I was in that mix, you know. Mm -hmm. Here, here, here was an Ojibwe uh, sleeping next to a Lakota, <laughs> you know? yeah. uh, but none of that ever mattered, mm -hmm. you know. We're we we are. We are the uh, original people of this land. We're, we are Anishinaabe. That, that's first. We're Lakota, Ojibwe, next, and then we're soldiers. <laughs> and we're fighting for our country. Yeah. Despite what our country has done to us over the years. Well, exactly. It's a love of the land. Yeah. Uh, you know, this, this is our land. Uh, the, the, the uh, uh, the bones of our ancestors for fifty thousand years are in the soil, are in the land. Fifty thousand years, mm. you not fourteen ninety two. <laughs> fifty thousand years. <laughs> Do you think, despite that discrimination in the military service, where they separated classes of people, that that's it, there was also some breaking down of walls there, despite. Oh yeah. That? Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah, very definitely. But but uh, you know there there was a uh, there was a great healthy uh, competition too uh, among among the units. Like uh, like I, every every uh, Indian soldier I ever knew uh, was infantry. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we did, we didn't get to be quartermasters. Uh, mm -hmm. Quartermasters are the guys that work in a warehouse, type up the papers, and, mm -hmm. and are always comfortable. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sitting down. <laughs> We're the grunts. <laughs> We're the infantry. So there's a great pride about that. Eh? Mm -hmm. So, so like uh, a meeting another unit coming this, marching this way, and we're marching that way. And if, if they if they happen to be a quartermaster or a tank corps, you know, there's all kinds of razzing goes on. <laughs> 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 you know? But but it, but it's all healthy. Same thing with uh, same thing with the Navy or the Marines or the Air Corps, you know. Yeah. And we we yeah. had these great uh, great competitions. Like, like I uh, I was a boxer, and boy, when we could uh, go up against the Navy, man, we trained hard. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but 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 it was healthy that way, you know. It, it was just absolutely healthy. But, you know, more of the more of the Indian veterans went into the army or the Marines. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Army and Marines is is, is a too big. Uh, there's hardly anybody on a Menominee reservation who is not a Marine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. great uh, the greatest number of uh, Ho Chungs are uh, Marines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the guys from here are were, were the grunts. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but too, you know, the the, the Ojibwe's and the uh, Lakotas made made the greatest number of paratroopers, hmm. and then, and then uh, the Mexicans. <laughs> right Mexican. after that. Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> few Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever get called chief in the service? Day one. 
<laughs> From day one, we're all chiefs. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, uh, little by little, we, we wouldn't respond. It was just kind of a code among among us of that of that uh, of that particular uh, time. We just uh, simply said, "My name is Benton. Mm -hmm. I'm not a chief." Did they get the message? Yeah, yeah a little. Some of the uh, some of the uh, people from the, from the south, from the hills, they never would give it up until <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we had private meetings. Mm. <laughs> in your mind uh, who do you see perhaps and I, I'm sure it's, it's kind of difficult to do this but if you were to say who do you think the greatest warriors were that you can remember who would you look up or focus on let's say not if, if there was one let's say if there was several who you think of is I mean we've got Ira Hayes that's fairly well known for yeah. Visible Mitchell reasons, Mitchell Red Cloud. Yeah. I know, you know, I, I I've never uh, tried to determine that uh, in, in that in that way, uh, but but I I think I think of uh, uh, times and uh, and the circumstances in the in, 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 the, yeah. in the, the era. You take the uh, take the Apache. You know, they were absolutely the greatest warriors of that time, of those circumstances, of that situation. Eh? I mean, they, they had absolutely no, uh, no weapons, no guns, but they, they brought they brought the United States Army to a, to a standstill. Eh? You know, it's hardly. Uh, it's almost like a. With no digital technology you know, available. With, with none <laughs> except uh, except their their uh, their horses. And uh, smoke signals, <laughs> you know. Uh, but they they had a spiritual. They had a they had something spiritual about 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 that whole time. They were willing to die on the spot to protect their land because they knew what was coming. They knew they knew uh, uh, more than say the Navajo people or or other Southwest people. They knew. The Apaches had a had a greater vision of what was coming. That uh, that it wasn't just a settling of the land; it was extermination of the original people, and that's what that's what that's what drove them, you know. And so and so in that respect, I think they were, as a people, they were they were the greatest they were the greatest warriors. But uh, but the Kumsi, <coughs> In a, in a completely different setting, also was was, was fantastic warrior. I I I, uh, I have a great feeling for Tecumseh because you know he was a, he was a Shawnee, uh, Algonquin speaking. He was a Medewin, and he actually came here. You right. know, um, and, and so uh, and so I. Uh, and Pontiac is the same way, although uh, Tecumseh for me stands out, stands out mm -hmm. great, greatly. Eh? You know? it's, it seems like even the uh, Black Hawk, uh, even though that was a defensive action that took place, totally outnumbered, yep. totally outmaneuvering the people that outnumbered them at every front. Yep. Uh, they would wake up and say, wow, where'd they go? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so on a, you know, on a, on a scale, there, there's no, there's no way to compare. There's no comparison, eh? Yeah. Because they, they were great in the, in that given situation. 